Hey everybody, Jittery J here. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Uh, we've finally done it. We've reached the end of An Idiot Abroad. This is Season 3, Episode 3, entitled China. It's also uh, the last one of the season and the series. As, uh, yeah, sad to see it go, but I have a deleted scenes video I need to do next. Plus, I still got all the XFM stuff to go through, so we've still got our Carl... Fix up Carl and the boys weekly. Uh, yeah, before we get started, uh, we're going to hit the like and subscribe on the original video. I know I was forgetting about something. Um, everything will be linked in the description below. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, turn that on. Uh, let's get into this. You know, I, I'm, I'm sad to see. The series end, but I'm psyched to see this episode. Just to see how they finished out. Anyway. Previously on oh. An Idiot Abroad. Dick That's Whittington he had a cat with him. And you went, why take a cat? Take a little mate. Just think you're going to be a hindrance. It's your idea to come to the party. You go in there. Is this good? <laughs> Brilliant, Warren. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. One, two. One, two. There's no way that I'm having it that Warwick's a better dancer than me. <laughs> no way. Seems what Warwick wants, Warwick gets. <laughs> oh! I never had a kite. <laughs> down. I forgot about that part almost. What are you going to see now? You'll never get the chance to see again. Uh, correct. I forgot about that comment he made, not about the work being up in the air. That was actually hilarious, just to watch the change in demeanor, so to speak. The Spider Sisters. Especially last week. This is the way outside. Like, I'll go and ask these questions. Do you have the mane or do you have the pudding? I don't know why you're so fascinated. Because it is something different. I've done a lot for him now. Let me have a bit of me time. I'm still in India. I've come to see them because they're different. That's all it is. It's not to poke fun. It's because they're different. People out there are coming in here to see new things. Yeah. Look at the crowd Warwick got. Hello. It'd be good if Warwick was willing to sit on there and raise some more money. I'll sit there, white <laughs> person, bald. They've never seen that before. They've never seen a little man before. Mm. Yeah, would, would, it make an, I mean, would it make any difference for them, money-wise, if me and Warwick was to sit on the stage as well. If both of them are standing together, then other people will see what they can see. She's good, yeah. She's in mind. <laughs> okay, let's have a word with Warwick. Okay. How oh, great! It's embarrassing. I'm not just going to go and stand there and, and have people look. Do you know what I mean? Well, what's the what's the point? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Just when I think you've said the weirdest, stupidest thing ever. You top it. I think it's weird that we're putting ourselves on this side. That's what's making this horrible. If we just all sat there together, it's not a problem. You sit there, I'll sit behind you, people come in, I'll give you a sense of party. You do what you want to do, what you need to obviously right. get out okay. of the system. You do that and I'll, I'll, I'll go outside and wait. I don't, I, I don't understand his priorities. He's happy to dress up as leprechauns and bears and stuff, but he won't sit on a stage, which he likes. And he won't let me comb his hair. I can't believe he's going to get him to do it. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Everything we've been through together. <laughs> Say they'll come to see Warwick. Why? Why Warwick, not me? <laughs> he's a dwarf. He's more interesting to see. I can't see any merit in me doing it. If I had something to do, something to give here, then then so be it. It's a performance, but it isn't. Me just sitting there, it's not... I'm not bringing anything to the table here, am I? But me? But round head. <laughs> Come on. What do you look like, Carl? 
I need you. You're my partner. But what are we doing, then? I will comb your hair. I'll massage you. Are you all right? Yes. Are you all right? <laughs> ben Fogel wouldn't have left James Cracknell. Cannon and Ball always did stuff together. The Chuckle Brothers, it wouldn't have worked with one chuckle. You're standing there getting an eyeful for free. Warwick, just get on the fucking stage. Shout his name. Warwick. 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 Yes. You bastard. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd go get him up there. <laughs> yes, he bastard. <laughs> he, he's at least happy about it. But you see him light up, though. I'm going to bloody kill you. <laughs> Warwick, are you okay? Not really. I think I'm having some sort of weird dream at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's having a ball. Uh, all right, yeah, all yeah, right. Go on then, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Give it a good squeeze. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, ladies, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's one bit of fun. That's all it was. <laughs> What did I say? Just wanted a bit of fun. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> I said, I just wanted a bit of fun. That's all it was. <laughs> you can see Carl was having a blast the whole thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Warwick was just kind of putting up with it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Warwick. Um, you should be in China by now for the final leg of the journey. Hopefully you and Carl <laughs> have bonded a bit after all your time together on the road. I've uh, booked you in on a scenic river cruise up the Yangtze. Just imagine all the boats loaded up with precious cargo in Marco Polo Bay. You should love it. All right then, <laughs> enjoy. You, you are never going to see the Spider Sisters or anything like yeah, it again. Okay. You could see this again quite easily. No, I just don't want to talk about that whole scenario again. It's like sulfur docks, this. So how far are we going on this boat? I'm not in the mood for it. Why? I've got the shits. It's a bit funny how I've got the shits and you haven't. It's because I'm careful. Well, you haven't been getting into it, have you? You've been having deep pan pizzas every day. I wanted you to get ill. But why does that bother you so because much? Because then you can be part of the team. It's like the, the Red Arse Gang. He said he wanted them to get ill. Does that bother you so Because much? then you can be part of the team. It's like the, the Red Arse Gang. <laughs> <laughs> At least then, I don't know, you wouldn't annoy me as much. It's annoying me how you're not ill and you're not experiencing what everyone else is. So if I'm chucking up in the toilet with the shits, you'd come in and pat me on the back and say, great worry. Well, I, yeah, I have some connection <laughs> with you. So your uh. connection with me would be through my arse then. <laughs> Come on, better go. Catch the boat, Carl. <laughs> He's got a point. I smell of piss <laughs> in the air. Thank you very much. Mind to step here, Carl. It's not even hooked on. Have you been on the cruise before? Nah. I won't be again if they're all like this. <laughs> it's not good when the carpet's damp, though, is it? Yeah, the Titanic was brought up and it looked better than this. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, it's my room. Are you just helping me with my luggage? Yeah, there's the toilet. I'll be... To be honest, that is useful for me, the way I'm not at the moment. The toilet's got a shower door on it. That's well handy, the way it's spurting <laughs> out of my arse. <laughs> I'm not joking. And I know what's oh. happening here, because you've got this room, so what's mine like? Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this, as far away as he is from Warwick's room. Especially with Ricky involved. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> Shower. All at the same time. That's a toilet. Lou, don't use that one. We've got bad guts. I'm not doing this. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, God. I just want to see Warwick. Hello. Warwick, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you're getting special treatment. I haven't even got my own toilet. Someone's already been on my toilet. There's already something there, and we haven't even left dock yet. Well, what have you got, then? What I haven't got anything. Just a, just a bed with about four, four or five other strangers. Are you sharing? Yes. Mm. Mm. It's just annoying me the way that they, we're, not, we're not having the same experiences. So let's right. go down the little corridor and, and share the same experience. Well, is it the same way you made me share the experience with the Spider Sisters? Yeah. Well, then maybe this is... Uh... It's sort of payback. All right, let's, <laughs> all right, forget it then. Forget it. You can have your room then. Don't forget get it. like that. No, Don't get all arsey. Stick it up your arse. Hold <laughs> <laughs> up. What did you tell him? <laughs> oh, well, I'm out here again. Payback. All right, let's, all right, forget it then. Forget it. You can have your room then. Don't forget get it. like that. No, Don't get all arsey. Arse. Stick it up your arse. That's what I thought he said. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't have mentioned that. I didn't want to upset him. Both in this together, we should stick together, but that's not what he did that day. I suppose two wrongs don't make a right, does it? I should. I've had the shits all day. The cabin that you've sorted out for me, I'm in there with the fucking grumble weeds. There's one toilet between about five of us. Listen to this. That's what I'm sharing with. It's not on, no. <laughs> it isn't on. We are the grumbles. Even Carl's starting to do it on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's pushed into his limit almost. It's just the way he looks right there. Because he, he's about to lose it. It isn't on! <laughs> we are the Grumble Weeds! I've got an idea, Carl. I've got an idea. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to share a room. Why don't you just sneak in? Just get in bed and just have a little cuddle and get a good night's sleep. No, I'm not doing that with him in there, I won't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like a nightmare, is that? Oh. <laughs> Look at the alternative. Did you get any sleep, Carl? Yeah, a few minutes, yeah. Did, have you seen Warwick? Did he sleep? Marco Polo must have been pissed off by this point. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. It's a place to visit in a submarine, this. This river. Look at it, it's polluted to hell and back, isn't it? Yeah, but a lot of people moan at home, yeah. sort of saying, oh, all our industry is a god. It wouldn't have been as polluted back then, though. Uh, uh, he's he's looking at it the way it is now, which, unfortunately, shit. It seems like most of the waterways look like that now. As uh, people can't keep their trash to themselves, uh, includes companies. But what can you do, right? Pulling back in it. I know people moan at home, sort of saying, oh, all our industries are gone and factories are gone and people aren't making things at home. But they are here. I mean, everything you pick up is made in China, isn't it? And look what it does to the place. Factories putting all this shit in the air. 
Let them keep it, honestly. We don't want this at home. It's depressing enough without having skies like this. You hear it all the time, don't you? you know, we don't do anything anymore. We don't make anything. It's all sort of coffee shops and paninis and charity shops, but at least we have blue skies. If you're going to be pissed off at home, be pissed off with a blue sky. Imagine being pissed off here. He's got a point. Hello? How's it going? How's the cruise? We, uh, we knocked that on the head. What do you mean? Yeah. Because it was horrible, honestly. It was misty, and, and the toilets right. were shocking. There was turds everywhere. Gillian McKeith, <laughs> that's the only person who would have liked that little, uh, that little boat trip. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> this is going to be the best show ever. So I'm going to reward you. And your reward is to meet a giant panda. Cool. <laughs> a real one? Yeah, it's a great honour. So, uh, wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much. There you go. Thoughts, Carl? Your are they, are they dangerous at all? <laughs> I've never known a panda suddenly going mental because it's come face to face with a, a mank, bald twonk. So I think <laughs> you're pretty safe. All right, then. I'm excited about this. What was the last thing that you saw a panda actually doing that you went, that's oh, useful? Well, I do know this, that their urine is collected by Sichuan tribal people, and if somebody swallowed a needle, they'd drink it, it would dissolve the needle. What, but that, what we're doing there is saving idiots. If they're eating needles, oh. that's nature's <laughs> way of wiping them out. We save... <laughs> I guess yeah, well, I'm kind of with Carl on this one. <laughs> Survival of the fittest, or at least the, the fittest. Uh, <laughs> if they're eating needles, let nature wipe them out. <laughs> Idiots. If they're eating needles, that's nature's way of wiping them out. We're saving everyone now. That's the problem. Yeah, well, I was just giving you a use for a panda. Yeah, but it's not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Professor hello. Zhao? Yeah. Yes, I'm Warwick Davis. Hey, nice hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Carl. Hi, nice How are you doing? You. you all right? Good. Yeah. Nice. So, this place is used for training the panda for reintroduction programs. What is it? It's the breeding. They teach breeding behavior. Yes. Yeah. I'm not wanking off a panda. <laughs> <laughs> videos to the pandas because in the captive some pandas have low mating experience. The bear makes the correct uh, noise. The female can accept him. Otherwise, they will affect each other. So it's like saying the right thing to the lady first at dinner. Right. If they don't make the right noise, then she's no. I'm interested. Thank you. <laughs> you have different films for it to hear and watch, or is it the same scene? I don't know about that. I don't think that works, does it? And it's the same one, it's, it's the same film over and over again, so you're going to get bored of that anyway. <laughs> I've seen nude films. You can't watch them more than three times. You go, what else have you got? How many times do you watch them more? What, are the panda films? <laughs> no, I've never watched any other sort of. You've never watched any rude films? I've no, I, I haven't ever felt a need to, actually, to be honest. No, it's not about need, is it? It's, it's, well, it's like how I wanted to see the spider women. It's just, what, what's all that about? People watch these, what's going on? Nothing oh, okay. rude you did it for it. research purposes. No, just have a look at what goes on. Of course. Get some <laughs> ideas. Oh, no. So, I had a feeling. to wear panda clothes. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. Especially with Ricky involved. Uh, I had a feeling this was where, from the previews, it shows the scene with uh, him in the panda suit. So I got a feeling this is where that goes at. But yeah, uh, you gotta wonder do both of them get in the suits? Or is it just Carl? Cause, yeah. I knew it. Before you go inside, so you had to wear panda clothes. He said we gotta dress up. Yeah. Well, surely that's more dangerous, isn't it? If we look like a panda. 
when our researcher goes inside, yes. they wear this, so they were not bothered as they were a real panda. Huh. I've been a few bears in my time, but never a panda. Really? Does this really convince them? Does it heck? It's bollocks, all this. It's just an excuse to dress us up. Not trying to get in the <laughs> mind of the character now. Don't start. That's what with. it's all about. Don't start. You don't start. Just put your costume. Don't just on. wear it like that. I'm going to put the You've hood on when I get in there. To get involved, because otherwise it's going to look ridiculous. I've seen pandas on the telly with people near them. I've never seen Attenborough dressed up like this. But I'm just thinking, <laughs> if something goes tits up, I can't see where I'm going. I'm hot. I'm going to trip over. It's just not safe. If it kicks off and I have to thump it in the head and they end up injuring it, then I look like the bad man. Carl <laughs> thumps thump endangered in species in the head. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if it comes at me, I will go at it and I'm not being responsible for what happens. I have to kick it between the bollocks. That's what's going to happen. I will kick a panda in the bollocks if I have to. <laughs> He's already got it planned out. <laughs> I'm loving this one. This has got to be the best one yet. <laughs> I will kick a panda in the bollocks if I have to. Do we need to make any sound? What sound does a panda make? Because I probably am going to be a little baby one. The baby panda chirps. Chirps. How does that go? <laughs> what about mummy panda? What noise? Yeah, the mummy always uses uh, the goat cry, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just go in. Let's go and have a look. Oh, no. Getting all the gear, you've got to have the sounds and the behaviour. We don't know anything about the bear. That panda never does that, for example. Carl, you can't stand on your two legs. They never do that. Uh, uh, uh. Mother or nurse, the baby. Oh, no. The baby? Just crawl to the, the mother's uh, teeth is there. He, he will be suckle. Use your mouth to go. My mouth. To go to... Where are you going to? I'm trying to suckle. Yeah, I'm letting it get here. <laughs> Where's your head? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Grab hold of that pair. No wonder they're dying out if they're like you. <laughs> Let's face it, it's, it's just looking down, thinking what's going on. <laughs> This looks like we've been doing the London Marathon and got lost. Is, is this honest, honest to God on your mum's life? Is this going to make it come towards us? Just stick with it, Carl, honestly. Just act real. Act naturally, like a panda. Jesus Christ. Carl, he's coming down. This car. Yeah. We go out? Yeah. Carl, we got to go out. Why? It's coming down. Ooh, what what oh. have we come here for? Where's the guy to go? It was a lot of effort, that, wasn't it? Just enticed him down. I just thought we were going to hug it or something. It's a long way to come just to see that. Oh. He, he's got to remember, a, a, even though it was moving slow, it's still a bear. You know? A, a, it's still a wild animal. So, yeah. You can't exactly... They want to keep them wild to keep them, or to keep them to where they'll breed in the wild. So they're trying to save the species. If I remember right, they're uh, extremely endangered now. I just thought we were going to hug it or something. It's a long way to come just to see that. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Just having a nice day, so no stress, having a wander about. Sunday here, so it's just good to see what normal people do. First restful day we've had. You go to the park much in London? Yeah, all the time. I love a good walk. Better <laughs> people watching. What's this? It's a giant earbud, isn't it? What they're copying, is it news headlines or something? It is news. It's like a really basic C-fax. The word on the street. That's where the phrase comes from. <laughs> I was going to do my signature, I think. Let's do a little ad. <laughs> good, isn't it? That is good. He 
you see, the thing is, it's hard to be an explorer now, and everything has been found. It's a piece of piss back then, with old Marco going where he wants and saying that he's found new land. Look at that baby. Good God. <laughs> Did you see the fat baby? Carl, it's <laughs> not overweight, it's just that they're chubby. It's just little puppy fat. You don't see many fat Chinese, do you? Of the, what are they in? Yeah. Nice. Right, are you going to have something to eat with pizza? Oh, quite fancy pizza. You've got to have something a bit weird, and I'll have it with you. What in the hell were they in? Is that, was that one of those pedal boats or something? Or has it got a motor on it? It sounded like it had a motor on it. But it's tiny. Pizza. Oh, quite fancy pizza. You've got to have something a bit weird, and I'll have it with you. Oh, no. We've got cold pork lung. Pig here. I've had pig here, that's not bad. Carl, I've got a table. This isn't that bad, to be fair. It's only the rabbit head that looks a bit shit. If you get rid of the teeth, he'd think that was a pork chop. Warwick, this isn't that bad. No, they haven't got anything weird. I thought they'd have well weirder stuff. I mean, that doesn't look normal. It smells of licorice, that one. No. No, eat one of them. Just shove it in, honestly, it's not that bad. Can I nibble the edge of it? Nah. It's worse, just shove it in. Don't tell me what it is. That's a lamb bollock. <laughs> What's wrong with eating a, a little sheep bollock? Really? <coughs> Stop fetching test. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got a weak stomach. <laughs> but Carl's been so many places so uh, at this point and eating so much strange food that he's kind of used to it. But work, on the other hand, uh, yeah. Like I said, there's, somebody's got a, a weak stomach. That's a lamb bollock. <laughs> What's wrong with eating a, a little sheep bollock? Really? <coughs> Stop fetching test. <laughs> right, now, I don't know how you eat one of these. I think you just pick it up with your hand and have a chunk. That's like stone. That's solid. Oh, fucking hell, it's a head. <laughs> just, just have a bite of that. I'm not eating it now. No, no, it's a head. Oh, oh. Bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a bite of his face. Stop pushing it to me! Oh. Go on, just have a bite, bite into it. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> you let me down. Honestly, you let me down. Let me down. Stop it. Forget it. Forget it. You Stupid. I don't want to be part of your fucking game. You need don't the chicken. bollocks at me like that either. Ridiculous. <laughs> I've got a job to do. I didn't want to go down with illness. No, but that's part of it, I think. You're doing travel, and then whatever you do, if that happens, that's part of the story. Right. Honestly, there's, there's people here who would watch Attenborough and think it's a cooking programme. Here, yeah, look. OK. <laughs> <laughs> What's he shoving in? It's like a little blade. Oh, yeah. That's nice, that, isn't it? It is nice. Well, he seems to know yeah, how, like far he, how far he can go with it. Tickling. Oh, my God! <laughs> Jesus, Warwick! You had that in your ear. It's I didn't same. have that much. Well... No wonder you haven't, like, shit yourself since you've been here. You just be, All your orifice is blocked up with wax. <laughs> Good Jesus. It's disgusting, actually. It is. It's, you should do your ears, you dirty little but it's shit. It's deep in the ears. You could actually make like a little Madame Two Swords modeler Warwick with the amount of wax that's come out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Funny little fella, isn't he? Imagine him as a removal man. Yeah. Pissing about. Let's get him in the van. to see uh, a Buddhist temple, which is something I really wanted to see in China, but my sinuses are really, really hurting. And uh, so, yeah, I don't feel so great, to be honest. I've done a few mountains and that, you know, it hurts your head. But he's hurting his head before he even started, so should we knock it on the head? 
just that you're never going to get this opportunity again. That's what I'm disappointed Yeah, but about. if the memory of it is going, yeah, what's the point? No, I, well, I want to do it. I want to have a go at it, but I don't know. Well, you, should we just start walking and just have a go? All right, let's, let's just start walking. Start Give walking, it. there we go. If he manages to do it on his own two feet, he's going to feel a lot better than, you know, if he's, if he's sat in this. It's like going up there on a, you know, a chairlift, isn't it? <sighs> so what do you know about Buddhism? Dalai Lama bloke. He's sort of happy, stress-free fella, but he's not living a normal life, is he? If we all did what he did, how would anything get done? sits around coming up with thoughts but he's got a bloke to empty his bins to wash the pots to do his food if we all did that we'd still be living in mud huts got a point it makes sense sometimes you know oh gosh are you alright yet? Yeah? I'm tired. I'm slightly worried about getting in them. I don't know how they're going. How can they carry someone up these steps? That's what they do, though. It's a little chair, isn't it? They're made for it. If you're getting in now, it's a little bit of a give up early. Yeah, right. I don't want to be seen to giving up. No, I don't want to be. <laughs> I'll bully him into it. <laughs> he's not cut out for it. He's not cut out for this. Now keep looking behind, and he's dropped behind. He's slowing me down, I want to move on. All right, I'm stopping for a bit. All right. I mean, this is hard anyway, but with this, it's like, it's twice as hard. Susanna always has a moan at me. When she's ill, I'm rubbish around her. Can't you nip to the supermarket instead, and all that. I'm just not good around ill people. How well, he wanted him to get well, He wanted him to get ill. I think that's that's what doesn't make any sense. He said he's not good around ill people, but he wanted them to get ill so he would experience what Carl's experienced on his trips. So, so he kind of contradicted himself there, just a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, people, how much further is it? Do you know? Well, I think we're no. not even not even quarter of the way. No, I'm not gonna make. It's okay to not get to the top worry. No, it's not okay. <laughs> Just knock it on the head. He's not a Buddhist. So why is it so important? You come so far through a journey and the kind of the what we've been through and stuff, it's I always managed to keep going and then He's his own man. If he wants to give up, he can. There's no prize here. We're not gonna win something, we're not a caravan up for grabs if we make it to the top. It's just a walk and a temple. No, it's better just to give up, done. Like, that's what I could do and that's it, or to jump in there and... Carl? Are you giving up? You're knocking it on the head? My head's not up to it today. I want to I wanna go up and see it. You knew your limits down there. I said, if you don't want to go, don't do it. And now we're halfway up. But I do want to go, that's the thing. It's like dragging around a hen with a vac. You know that thing you walk and it gets caught under a chair and you've got to walk back and unblock un un it. That's what it's been like, with your big smiling face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call it a day here. Definitely. It's too easy to say I've got a headache or my legs or... It is easy if you haven't got a headache. Carl, in my career, I've put up with all sorts of stuff. The stuff I endure in, in costumes and stuff, it's, it's oh, hard. But this makes a mockery. This makes a mockery of the whole Star Wars thing. Anyway, you're in the universe. I didn't see you up there going... Oh, it's sinuses. <laughs> well, that's why he sounded like that. All his nose is blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Land. <laughs> I need a fix. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I can't. I don't think I'll get yeah. all the way. Sometimes, Carl, you see, I don't think you see what others see, you know? You were up there having a go at Warwick. Warwick's down below actually having a little tear on. I mean... You didn't cry, did you, on camera? Hang on, I didn't mean to, it's just... Oh, here we go. I hate that. 
I feel like doing it just to annoy exactly. him. Exactly. That's exactly how I work. That's how, how I do it with Suzanne. <laughs> you never wash up a do, you don't. Then she does it. Mm. It's the same thing, being pushed. <laughs> so what, what I say to you is, get off your arse and get walking. Let's keep going. We can do it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poor fellas. So now that we do away. make it up, he can't say he walked all the way. This is part of the experience as well, isn't it? Oh, it is now, is it? It wasn't a minute ago. <laughs> no, but I thought, you know, travel. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Pilkington lose the goalposts once again. <laughs> he is like having a little kid with me because of his height and he likes toffees and he likes pizza I feel like his dad and that's what I was acting like when I was coming up the hill like come on son and that's how I would have said if I've got a son that's how I would have spoke to him get off your ass and get up here wow oh Jesus there's more stairs <laughs> I tell you what, you can't be a Buddhist in a wheelchair. <laughs> I don't think he realises what he's saying sometimes. Yeah, dragging a Henry vacuum behind me and having to stop and empty it now and again. I mean, how offensive can you be? But it was what I needed. I gave him the kick to do it. And sometimes that's what you need, isn't it? You need someone, you need a good leader. I was like a, I was like Winston Churchill or something like that. Hey. He said, when you're going through hell, keep going. And that's what I did down there. I was, I was Winston Churchill. Oh, give me that shit. Keep going. Three, two, one. two hang on. One. That's it. Yes. Here we are. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's impressive, that. Absolutely, yeah. You see, what annoys me, though, Warwick, right? You didn't like seeing the woman with two heads. Suddenly, you're happy with that, she's got six. <laughs> <laughs> Were you really crying before, or was that just messing about? <laughs> no, I was. Uh, why? I don't know, I think it's something to do with being short. It's harder to be defeated. Do you know what I mean? They'll make it look like an X Factor moment. You'll be loving that, won't you? <laughs> They'll have Coldplay under that. <laughs> 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 Will the little man do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. And everyone will be like that. <laughs> Come on. Cold play. It has brought us closer together. But the one bad thing to come out of this, he's got a disabled badge for his car. He's going to get that taken off him. Because you can't be climbing stuff like this and then getting home going, I need to park in, and that, that's well gone. <laughs> <laughs> Take that off of him. They gotta walk back down though, don't they? That's gonna be fun. But going down's gotta be a whole lot easier than going up all them damn stairs. Uh, so there's no way. Because you can't be climbing stuff like this and then getting home going, I need to park <laughs> in, and that, that's well gone. But I haven't told him. <laughs> Um, uh -oh. I had a thought, how about we go one better than Marco Polo? He turned around in China and went home. I was thinking you and Carl could carry on a bit further and go on to Macau. I booked you rooms at a lovely hotel called the Venetian, so you should feel at home there, right? Um, and it's a lovely treat on your last night together. I've got your table at a restaurant at the top of the Macau Tower. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, stunning views. So, um, yeah, I'll speak to you later. Huh. All right, cheers, bye. I don't like getting dressed up, especially not to have a meal. If I'm having a Sunday dinner at home, I normally sit there with now on top, take my T-shirt off and everything, because you drop a bit of chicken in gravy. Gravy's got grease in it, it doesn't come out. Sit there bare-chested on the table and I enjoy it. You don't have to be dressed up. I'll pop a T-shirt back on when it's time for pudding. It's going to be all right, this. We can sort everything out. It's going to be a lovely evening. He's got a weird way of looking at things, but in a way, it kind of makes sense, you know. It's his way to clean up a mess. Um, but, yeah, I get the feeling something's going to go fishy with this, with Ricky involved. But that almost looks like the... the uh, 
What is it that's out in Seattle? The Space Needle? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Something like that. Table. There's like a restaurant that's up on the way up to top. Be dressed up. I'll pop a t-shirt back on when it's time for pudding. It's going to be all right, this. Ricky sorted everything out. It's going to be a lovely evening. It's, it's really nice that you set this up to celebrate the end of the journey. And then, um, in true Ricky style, he's, uh, he's thrown a bit of spanner in the works for me. I've got a text from him. <laughs> We're not just going up there to look at the view. He wants Carl to do a skydive. Oh, God. <sighs> it's just far from it. Why do this when we've invented buttons? <gasps> Fannying about. Oh, what Ricky God. basically said about tonight is, don't let me down. It's in your hands to get him to do this. I don't want the show to finish on a damp squib. You know, we've got to end with a big finish. Everyone wants to see him jump. <laughs> Some tells me this is in retribution to all the times he didn't do the bungee jump. <laughs> he wasn't skydive instead. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he'll go through with that. Oh, the good life. You're going to have a pudding? Yeah. Full of fun. He's paying, of I actually idea. like to see a plate of food. I know it's for me. And it's my job to eat what's on that plate. But the way they keep sort of bringing out dishes and noodles and then some dim sum and a dumpling. Yeah, it's just like a load of starters, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be nice. <laughs> that way. I've seen you dressed now. I don't know. Just for something to eat. Just seems a bit over the top to me. Restaurants at the top. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the Cow Tower. We hope right. you will enjoy your visit to this 338-meter iconic landmark. I um, I got a text from Ricky earlier. Uh oh. Hope we had a nice time. They do other stuff here as well as food. <laughs> you can, um, you can do sort of extreme sort of sports. Bungee jumping. Funny. No, no, it's not bungee jumping. Yeah, it is, though, isn't it? No, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I'm not... I, I don't do extreme stuff, Warwick. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Warwick. Hi Warwick, there. Warwick, Tony O'Rourke, how are you? Hello, Tony. It's Hi, Tony. Tony. Yeah, good. good. Welcome to Cowtown. We have various activities. We have our uh, skywalk, which is walking the outer rim. We have our sky jump. We have our world's highest bungee jump. So yeah. you know what bungee jumping is, yeah? Yeah, I've been faced with it, and I'm not doing it. Sky jump is actually designed for those people who can never do a bungee jump. You go outside and have a look? Yeah, I'm happy yes. to go outside okay. and have a look. It's just that I'm not okay. going to jump. As you can see, everything is double. We attach the two attachments to your harness, and then what we do is we slowly, ever so slowly, just lower to the ground. It's actually a controlled, what we call a controlled descent. Right. It's just a gentle ride. Carl, come here. Yeah. Come here, come here. Just, hang on, just, hang on a second. Do you remember, like, you remember the mountain the other day? Yeah. Right? I didn't want to do it, did I? I couldn't do it. No, yeah. I didn't want to. And you motivated me to do it. Yes. And that's and, that, and, and I'm glad I did. And the food thing, and you were going to eat it, and I would never have gone anywhere near a testicle. But I did, because you were going to have it. Well, why don't you do it? This is about you conquering something. What was the other things that you said you can do? The skywalk, which is just walking the perimeter of the tower. Yeah, that's a double. That's, that's easy, walking around that. Yeah. Here we go. Excellent. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Carl, have you looked straight down? Yeah. Your brain's telling you this can't be real. You wouldn't be this stupid. Surely. <laughs> I don't want any more of a, a rush than that. I can understand the view, but jumping off, yeah. I really don't know what it's about. Should we go for a wander? <laughs> it's pathetic, though, isn't it? What? Oh. What, the fact that you won't do the old skydive? No, 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 just that, that Ricky keeps going on about this. But I don't want to do one. 
and he can't make me, and he wouldn't do one. It's not as if he's been jumping off buildings. Right. I've never seen him do anything with a slight bit of danger. There's just nothing in me that makes me want to jump off there. Sometimes that's what annoys me with films. It's always a happy ending. Life isn't like that. People don't yeah. always get what they want. My favourite films are Elephant Man, who ends up killing himself because he's sick of having that head. Yeah. And Kez, when his Kestrel gets killed by his brother. I don't like happy endings. <laughs> Can you sit down on the edge? I can't get any nearer the edge because I've got ten. Where's your knees? Have you got knees? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this whole thing together. Epic journey, put up with all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You know, shouted, hated each other, got on with each other. We should do the last thing together. I'll do it if you do it. Well, I'm not going to be doing it. It so. can't be that hard. Look at me now. I'm hanging over here. I'm yeah, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could do it. Right, hook me up. Have you ever had a dwarf up here before to do this? No. Nope. So this is a world record, then? Check. OK, just turn to you. Rear and tetris. That's making me nervous, all that stuff. Check. You're going to feel yourself lifting off. No, no so way. Good. Warwick, that is mental. Bloody hell! Warwick, are you sure? Oh, fucking hell. Stay there. I'm here. No, no way. No, look at me. You don't have to do it. <sighs> you ready? It's all of you. Just spin around again. We're going to be fine. Let's just do this. We're going to do it, OK, Warwick? Sky jump in five seconds. Four. No, don't three, say, don't count two. down like that. Fuck! Good luck. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh Jesus! No, I don't want to look. I do not want to look. That was way too fast. Fuck it up! This is amazing! Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! That's amazing! Fuck it up! Okay, sir. That's so good. <laughs> That's amazing. I want to do it again. That is so good. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ricky. It's Warwick. We're at the top of the Sky Tower in Macau, and I just jumped off it. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Yeah, I did it. It felt great. And Carl nearly did it. Yeah, I, I just sort of uh, walked around the edge of it. Well, I up. Ah, oh, that's so funny, isn't it? Because Carl was worried that you wouldn't be able to do physical things, and now you've made it look like a like a little jellyfish, like a little cowardly <laughs> crab. Yeah. Well, you weren't trying to make Carl look like a little no. cowardly little bat. You weren't, you weren't trying to make him look like a bat. Check it. Bat. 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 I'm pleased for Warwick. <laughs> I, I feel like I've been part of it. I, I helped him get out on the ledge. And then you ran away. Yeah, yeah. but, but I, I helped you do wow. it. That's his teamwork, isn't it? Okay. Well, don't forget, I arranged the frame check in the prostate, so I feel that, you know, yeah, well, that's, I'm part of that. That was worth doing, wasn't it? It's for my health. <laughs> that's one thing we haven't done with Warwick, though, isn't it? Yeah, Finger no, up the arse. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm all checked out. I'm <laughs> oh, yeah. And I've had my ears done on this trip as well, so I'm to all orifices are clear. Jesus. Thank you very much. Oh, I've seen them. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> In this little harness he's got on. Like a little... Right. <laughs> <laughs> his testicles? Oh, he's eating them. <laughs> Trip as well, so I'm total warm. This is a clear. <laughs> oh, I've seen them, don't worry. <laughs> In this little harness he's got on, like a little bunch of grapes being lowered down. Cargo. Look at them. It's unbelievable because they're normal, aren't they? They're normal sized bollocks. Well, I don't know why I'm not comparing them to anything, but. Believe me. Why, why do we have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's the end of that. There you go. Oh, my God. What's going on about nuts? I know, but it's unbelievable. That's, that's something I won't forget. The Spider Sisters and them. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you take away from this trip. It's the Spider Sisters and my nuts. Great. Right, let's get something to eat. <laughs>
There's a time for us Someday a time for us Time together with time Time to care Someday Somewhere way of living We'll find a way of forgiving There's a place for us Knew you were coming it's a review. <laughs> and we're all way there. Hold my hand and I'll take you there. Wow. Somehow. Where's your knees? Someday. Have you got knees? Yeah, I have, yeah. Somewhere. I wasn't even attached then. Could have fell off. Jesus. <laughs> Someday. Alright, I'm going to stop that there. Um, I actually thought Carl was going to go through with it after Warwick did, or Warwick, sorry. Uh, but I guess not. Hey, he came close, but eh, it, it's the heights thing that gets him, I think. Uh, heights and being on a boat <laughs> gets him every time. But, uh, yeah, this was absolutely, I think, my favorite episode of all three seasons, to be honest. This was absolutely hilarious. Um, like I said, it's sad that we're done with the series, but we still got the deleted scenes and then the XFM stuff to come up. Uh, so we'll still get our fix of Carl. Anyway, you have to let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments. Let me know what else I need to look for, and I will get there as soon as possible. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me, and I hope to see you on the next video. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here at Jerry J.